Hi, my name is Haley Goslinga, and I'm a marketing engineer in the CDS group at Train. Today, I'm going to talk about creating a trace file using the new file wizard functionality. By the end of this video, you will be able to explain what the new file wizard is and when to use it, as well as create a new trace file using the new file wizard. The new file wizard allows you to create simple buildings using schedules, internal loads, wall types, and other factors that are determined by the chosen building type. The purpose of the wizard is to quickly model buildings in Trace 700. You may want to use the new file wizard when you need to model a building quickly, you're using typical internal loads and schedules, or you would want to rapidly generate basic load calculations. We will now create a file using the new file wizard tool. The example that I'm using can be found in the Trace 700 users manual in the advanced usage and general modeling tips section. To create a new file, you'd go to file, new, and select new file wizard. We will then name our file and then select your desired building type. We will be modeling a rectangular 15-story office building located in Davenport, Iowa. Once the office type is selected, we will then select the shape of the building to be modeled. To model the rectangular building, we would want to select the block building configuration. You can see that this configuration has five different zones, four on the perimeter, and then the fifth zone being the interior zone. If building orientation would also need to be adjusted, you can do that on this screen. On this next screen, you can input the dimensions, percent class, as well as other information of the building. We will dimensions of the rectangular building, the length of 200 feet, and a width of 55 feet. The Florida floor height remains at 12 feet, with a plenum height of 2 feet. We can then input the percent glass, which would be 30% on the north facing wall, 60% east facing, 30% on the south wall, and 60% on the west wall. To model the 15 stories of the building, we would want to change the number of floors to 15, as well as input a perimeter depth of 15 feet. Perimeter depth should typically not exceed 25 feet or this can impact the envelope losses. Once you have input the dimensions, you can then hit next and the new file wizard will close. And the Trace 700 project navigator window appears. The new file wizard creates sets of templates as you can see here as well as five rooms per wing. The rest of the file is blank or contains default information, such as the weather information. We will now enter our project information. This information will be printed out on any reports that you would compile and presented to your client. We will now select our weather location of Davenport, Iowa. We would want to select the Upper Midwest and then select the city of Davenport, Iowa. The weather location is now changed and we can now view the Create Templates section to see the templates that the new file wizard has created for us. We will look at the Wing 1 template because that is the wing that the block building is modeled as. So you can see the people, lighting, and miscellaneous load types and schedules have all been changed to something appropriate for a general office space. You can make any mass changes at this time to your rooms and apply any different schedules that you'd wish to, as well as any different internal loads, air flows, thermostats, and construction. You can see that the airflows, thermostats, and constructions have all been set to something that would be typical of a general office space. If any individual room changes 
would need to be applied, then you can apply that in the Create Room section in any of the five rooms that are associated with this block building type. You may also add any new rooms or delete any of the spaces that you have created in the new file wizard at this time. We will now create a system by selecting the VAV reheat system and naming it AHU1. Once the system has been selected, then we can input our fan information. So we will be selecting a forward curve VAV fan with a static pressure of 3. Once the system has been set up, we can now assign our five rooms to the system. This will allow us to run our design load calculations as well as develop our yearly load profile. Additional resources can be found in the Trace 700 Users Manual as well as the Online or F1 Help. If you enjoyed this video or have suggestions on content you would like to see, please give us a call or send us an email. You can also view our other content at traincds.com.